Hello, this is Saki from Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you guys how to record the screen of your Android device simply by using the ADB command line utility right from your PC. Now, this is a completely free, no nonsense method, but it only works on an Android 4.4 or higher device. So, your phone or tablet have to be running Android 4.4 or higher for this method to work. And for those of you guys that do not know what ADB is, ADB is simply a command line utility that runs on your PC which allows you to control and communicate with your Android phone or tablet as long as that phone or that tablet is connected to your PC using a micro USB cable as you can see in the picture. And by the way, here's a sample recording as you can see I'm just scrolling through my device, you know, and I'm in the app drawer, I'm looking around, go back home, pull down the settings, navigate around the settings. So this is all being captured using the method I'm about to teach you guys. Let's launch a game, see what that looks like. So let's launch Hitman. And as you can see, the screen automatically flips. So you don't have to worry about that. And then you can simply play the game and it's gonna be continue to get recorded as usual. Okay, so let's uh, tap it. There you go, and let's go back out. So let's show you how to get this done. All right, so the first thing you guys wanna do is you wanna go to my website post for which I will leave a link in the description below and simply scroll down to where it says required files and click on download ADB. This is going to easily and quickly download the ADB file and nothing else. All right, so once you download the ADB file, it's gonna look just like this, it's gonna be a zip file. All you have to do, it's a very small file by the way, it's only 1.72 megabytes, but all you have to do is right click on it, use 7-zip or any other unzipping utility to extract the file into its own folder okay and once you have extracted the file you can delete the zip file so let me just throw this in the trash can right here and this is all we're gonna need and one more thing you do have to enable USB debugging under developer options on your phone so let me show you how to do that really quick now the first step is to go to the settings and this is a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge so you're gonna have different settings for different phones and tablets but what you wanna look for is something called developer options now if it is not enabled which most times it is not find where it says about device and look for where it says build number and then tap it seven times okay and if your developer options is not enabled this is going to enable it so let's go back out there to the uh, developer options menu go right inside and scroll down and make sure USB debugging is enabled and this is a requirement for us to be able to record the uh, screen of this device. And like I said, all phones and tablets are going to look different. So you have to go and find where it says about device, go inside, find that bill number, tap it seven times, and enable developer options, and then enable USB debugging. And of course, make sure the phone is connected to your PC using a micro USB cable. So let's move on to the next step. All right, so now that we have ADB and we have USB debugging enabled, we are ready to go and start recording our screen. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to the fastboot underscore ADB folder, and anywhere within the white space, just hover your mouse in the white space, press shift and hold it, and then right click on your mouse, and then look for open command window here. So this is the ADB utility that's gonna allow us to record everything. So the first thing you want to make sure is that in fact ADB is working. So type in ADB devices, press enter, and as long as you get a number right here and device next to it, that means ADB is in fact active, okay? And the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the ADB shell. So type in ADB shell, press enter, this takes you into the shell, and then from here you simply type one command screen record space forward slash SD card forward slash and what this is is this is the location into which the video file the capture file is going to be recorded so screen record is the command forward slash SD card forward slash is the location where you're gonna put your video and just so you know, by default, for every Android device, this is the internal storage of your phone. Okay, so this is going to be universal. And the next thing you want to do is you simply want to type a file name. So test screen capture. And then you have to put the file extension name, which is going to be .mp4. 
So every video capture you do on your phone is going to be saved in MP4 file format, which is a universal video format, and it will play anywhere. So how do we start the process? All you do after you type in screen record, forward slash SD card, forward slash name of the file that you pick. You can pick the name of the file yourself. You can call this test1, test2, dot mp4, the file type. This is the extension. So after you type this whole command, simply press enter. And right now, if you go to your phone and you start playing with your phone, everything you're doing on your phone is being recorded. Okay? So as long as this thing here is blinking right here, everything that you're doing on your phone right now is being recorded. And what you want to do, if you want to cancel the recording, you press Control C on your keyboard at the same time. So you hold down Control and you hold down C and that aborts the recording. And on top of that, the maximum recording size is three minutes, which can be tweaked, by the way. I'm going to show you how in a minute. But uh, if you don't um, specify the maximum record time, it by default ends in three minutes. Alrighty? But let's uh, do a control C right now and stop the screen recording. And as you can see, we're back to business. And I also want to show you guys how to set the time limit. You do that by using parameters. So it's all the same except for one tiny tweak. So type in ADB devices just to make sure that the phone is in fact connected. Type in ADB shell. Now you're in the shell. And then type in screen record. But instead of typing forward slash SD card like you're going to be doing in a minute, you have to define a parameter. So what you do is you type in minus minus time dash limit space and you specify the maximum time you want to record in seconds. Remember, the absolute max is three minutes, which is 180 seconds. So let's say you just want to record your screen for 60 seconds. You would type in six zero, and that's 60 seconds. And then you do space, forward slash, SD card, forward slash, and that's just, uh, let's just uh, say test one for this file name, dot, remember the extension, MP4, okay? So again, you type in the screen record command, but this time you have to put this parameter in, minus minus time, dash limit, space, number of seconds you want to uh, do the recording, and then slash SD card, slash, which is the internal storage of your phone, and then you pick a file name, dot MP4, and then you press enter, and that starts the process. Again, you can cancel this process if you want in the middle. So let's do that right now by typing control, I mean uh, pressing control and C on your keyboard at the same time. And that aborts the process. And I'm sure you guys are wondering where the heck are these files being saved? So let me show you really quick. Like I said, we say slash SD card slash, which is the internal storage of your phone. So as long as your phone is connected to your computer, just go to your my computer. And uh, over here, I've got the Samsung S6 Edge connected to my computer. Go right in, go to the phone storage, and it's going to be at the bottom here. Okay, so here's all the files that I was capturing when I was showing you the examples. So that's the test screen capture. That's test one, and that must be another one I tried earlier. So uh, this is where they get uh, saved, and all you do is you copy these guys, and you paste them on your desktop. And now you have them on your PC. Now, as you can see, this is a very simple process. You simply download the ADB tool and type in one or two commands and you start recording. Once you're done, you just go to your phone's internal storage, grab the files, and put them on your desktop. And this is what you get as a result. Very nice, very smooth, and you can record anything that you want on your phone. And then you can present this to other people if you so desire. Now, before I let you guys go, go back to my website post and make sure you go to this uh, link under resources. And then if you scroll all the way down, you actually have access to some more parameters that you can use when you're capturing video. And it's right here. Remember, I talked about the time limit option right here. So this allows you to define a time limit. But you can also change the size of the video that's being recorded. So you can change the video size from 1080p to 720p if you wanted to. You can change the bitrate. You can rotate the video and you can get some logging information on your screen as the video is being recorded. So if you type in this parameter within your command, 
it's going to give you all the details of the recording itself, such as the size of the video, the bitrate, and the time limit. So that's a nice way to get the login information. Uh, go ahead and play with these options if you want to. I just want to let you know that you do have these options. It's not just the time limit that I showed you, but you can also use the other four or five commands, uh, parameters that, that, that you have available right here. And that brings us to the end of this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. And I will see you the next time with more videos. Saki out.